Hey, and thank you for clicking play. We're going to look at the Pi 400, um, so part two of me being a complete noob on a Pi 400. This is the second time I've recorded the intro. I've already recorded all the footage, but I accidentally deleted the intro. So I'm back again, doing the same thing over again. Filming has been a bit weird today, as you'll see as you go through the footage. Um, but yeah, let's get into it and see. <laughs> Of course, now I know what's coming up. <laughs> and um, it's going to be interesting. Okay, is Maria Whitaker in shot? Good. Right. Um, okay, so one thing I am going to point out, actually, is, and the reason why you haven't got the Pi, uh, Pi Mega, the Pi 400 in shot itself, the cables it comes with are actually really short. I must say that. And look, at the end of the day, it's a low cost package. But this HDMI cable is crazily short. The mouse cable is ridiculously short. That kind of works because obviously it's a bit like Apple's way of doing a mouse that plugged into a keyboard. Obviously you don't need that much length. I'll leave that. Um, and um, so other than that, those two little gripes um, and the charge cable as well. But anyway, more on the charge cable right at the end of this video. Um, I'll remove, I'll put Maria Witter Cave mug over there. Productivity. Um, so, well, first of all, doing anything, keep it in mind, I'm totally new to Linux and whatever. That clearly looks like a folder structure. So that is a no brainer. I really haven't played with much at all. Seriously, I've hardly used this thing on purpose, but I have sorted a few things out as well. Right click on the desktop, it gives me the sort of things I would expect to find on the desktop. Can I change this temple picture to something else? Fisherman, lasers. This isn't gonna be a 30 minute video of me. Yeah. This might be a 30 minute video of me <laughs> finding a background that I like. Are you impressed? Aurora, we'll go with Aurora. I like that. Okay, good. Trash can, I mean, obvious. Um, web browser, I mean, it says it when you hover over it. By default, that was going to the Pi homepage and now it isn't. So that's a bit of a shame that it seems to have dropped that because I, I like the idea of going to the Pi homepage. Is this a search? Um, Alpha Romeo. Ah, oh, and by default it's DuckDuckGo. I like it. I like that. Duck, 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 go rather than Google and definitely not Bing. Fantastic. That's, that's cool. All right, we'll go with that. We'll go with this concept of the new Alfa Romeo GTV. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Um, view file. Oh, what's this car magazine image? I can't. Anyway, um, save image as. Get image descriptions. Open image in new tab. Okay, so I could save it down. I'm just doing things that I know I would want to do on a, on a thing. Um, so where's it gonna go? Okay, it's gonna go into downloads, that's fine. Can't see a way to send it to my desktop wallpaper, um, which is a bit of a shame. So I would have to go, let's close the browser. Back here, desktop preferences, I assume. Desktop. No, Pi, downloads. Okay, it's under Pi, fine, it's under Pi. Sort of thing, slight differences, but you, you'd get used to it. You'd get used to it, not a problem. Downloads, there it is, and there it is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't keep that, we'll keep it for today, but I wouldn't keep it because it's got the carmagazine.co.uk. So credit carmagazine.co.uk, please don't copyright strike me. That is a freaking gorgeous looking car, my goodness. Love it. Right, okay, we're not here to talk about cars. Um, okay, so that's that. So in terms of doing things like Word documents and stuff like that, yes, you do have LibreOffice, but I was thinking about this. I probably wouldn't use that because I'm in the Google ecosystem. So why, why would, and, and plus you don't get much storage on the device itself. So why would I give myself the pain of doing that? Obviously I could plug in an external USB drive and use that as my storage, of course I could. But I think I would favor cloud, to be honest. So the question is, do the cloud applications that I would choose to use um, work? 
So let's try this. So let's try drive.google.com. I can open, I assume, a doc. And it's opened it straight away, or straight away in the editor. And yes, that 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 works fine. Um, this is the story. Don't read any of this. This is the story I've written for Amiga Forever, not Amiga Forever, <laughs> Amiga Addict magazine, issue five. Um, but yeah, there we go. All the tools are there. Mm, scrolling's a bit slow, but that might be to do with my internet connection. Because look, that's just taking a bit of a time there. bit slow is that my internet connection or is that the Pi? I don't have that kind of issue when I'm using my PC I must confess and this is continually going round and round and round is it low mm. waiting for docs.google.com That's not comfortable, I have to confess. Let's do a speed test. Because I just want to make sure it's not, I don't want to bag the Pi if it's to do with my internet connection, if that makes sense. And that's on wireless as well, PC's on wireless. This is on wireless, obviously. Ping's quite high for the time being. My One of my boys upstairs is streaming, but that, that I mean, for, for the connection we get here, that's good. So that's not the problem. What about the upload? Not bad for what we get here. This would peak around 20, but my boy upstairs is streaming. 15, that's not bad. So 11, point, 11 milliseconds ping. The internet connection isn't to blame. That stopped doing the whirly gig now. So let's see. There's, there's still a delay. That's a bit unfortunate. That is down to the pie. Okay, so I'm in OneDrive. Let's create a new file, shall we? Let's go a Word document. That again is, it's a similar experience to Google. I'd argue it's maybe a little bit quicker. Um, you can at least see that each, oh, it's, it's catching. It's, that is probably becoming usable. Well, I don't know, insert a picture from OneDrive. Picture of a beetle. I've, I've selected, okay, let's select it. Okay, I open. Okay, so that was, that was user error. Okay. And there it is. That, that's actually becoming usable. So I'm, I'm actually quite surprised at that, that OneDrive um, and Word has been a smoother experience than Google Docs. Right, so let's have a look here. We got under games. First game is Boing. One player, two player. It's clearly a Pong tennis clone. <laughs> a Pong clone. We're into Pong clones on this channel now. Um, one player, two player. Ah, oh, I think I did have a quick look at this. So just for transparency's sake, and I have to press, there we go. And bizarrely, it's keyboard control, <laughs> which given the type, the mouse does nothing, okay? The mouse, given the type of game, this is screaming out for mouse. Also, oh, there we go. So this is screaming out for mouse control and it doesn't allow it. Yeah, Mr. AI. Ha <laughs> ha. Now, bizarrely, if I press escape, what does that do? Nothing. If I right click, nothing. So I can't uh, up the top, send to desktop, all desktops, whatever. Um, and it, there's no full screen. That's it. That's so Boeing opens down here for whatever reason. And I can't find anywhere to change options. Roll up, roll down, undecorate. I mean, they, they are layer, they're to do with moving it, I think. Roll up, yeah, so that's. Um, minimize, maximize. You can't make it fill the screen. 
Odd. On to the next one. Games banner. That says banner. So again, I can't. They're just in Windows. They're just in, not in Windows, but you know what I mean. I'm assuming it's going to be another. What is, it's like a Frogger clone. Oh. <laughs> That's fantastic. Oh, no. What the, what are you? I'm just interested in what Pi Native games are like to, oh, oh, he's, there's a train coming too. Oh, we have to get him killed by the train. Why can this run? Whoa. <laughs> why, can, why has he got tire tracks over him? He got killed by a train. Um, <laughs> Why can't you make this full screen? I don't know, but this runs a lot smoother than the office stuff in the in the browser. That's funny. Please, I want to see this bunny getting splattered full screen, please. Right, um, what else we got? Games, cavern. Sounds so exciting. See, all of these are the same. All of these are... If you know a way to make this full screen, please let me know. I'm gonna try out, enter, no. Function enter no, control enter no, pi. Oh, the, that's what the pi button does. I did wonder. There's, there doesn't appear to be a way to make it go full screen. Uh, press space. <laughs> Not going very well. Oh, okay. Right. It's a platformer. Oh, bugger off. But then more come. I don't want that. Can't just jump down. What am I? A monkey. Oh. Oh, I can. Oh, bollocks. I don't really like this kind of game. Can I get my own bubble? No. Okay. It's a collect the fruit game. Back her off. How much fruit? I say I don't like, but look, I'm hooked. How much? Oh, bullet, I don't, how did I? Yeah, I've had enough. <laughs> That's that. Right, what else we got? We've got Minecraft. Now again, so Minecraft, I don't play Minecraft, I have to say. Um, create new, whatever. Seems to run nice and smooth. Um, I want to change invert, I don't know how, so we'll just go back to the game, shall we? Um, and, but you can, go full screen but it doesn't seem to go full screen it's and now the movement is off so it's almost like it's, it wants to be full screen um i don't know why it does that what oh, if i do that it goes back into the window that's what that does what's that game menu what's that that's sound oh, quit to title that's all you've got in there. I'm not. It's not the fact that I'm not a Minecrafty person. It's I'm I'm expecting this to work. Uh, and so the one game where the option to make it go full screen is there. Doesn't it? Doesn't actually work. Other than that, the graphics seem to look quite smooth. Myriapod, let's have a look. Press space. Another one. I'm stuck in. Oh, I've got a shooter. Kind of a space invader. Okay, I can't go any further forward than that for reasons unknown. I 
I'm sounding a bit moody, aren't I? But um, yeah, I, I'm just getting to know it, that's all. I'm just getting to know it. At the end of the day, the pie isn't really for just using it out of the box, is it? The whole idea is it's a project, but I'm just interested to see what it can do out of the box. And, 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 um, and how you would potentially use it as a daily, I guess. Um, yeah. So, I mean, the fact that everything else is, is smooth, I think the problem we've got with, with Google Docs is clearly an issue for it running in Chromium on a Pi for whatever reason. Um, Office seemed to run fine. Okay, let's go. So Python games, that's probably a whole host of games. Yeah, that's a whole host of games written in Python. We're now we're getting into what the Pi is about, is encouraging programming, encouraging experimentation. So it's nice that you've got some games out of the box because in theory, I assume I can get to the code for these and, um, and start tinkering. Flood the screen with pixels, no. <laughs> so, sorry, I'm not playing that. Tetris like game, Tetris for idiot. Well, that sounds like me. Um, all right, let's go. Eat the smaller squirrels. I like the sound of that. I want to eat the smaller squirrels, please. I've eaten you and <laughs> this is eaten. I've eaten you and I'm going to eat you. And I assume I have to, oh, then I get bigger. So the more squirrels I eat, the bigger I get, the more squirrels I can eat. Oh, I like this. Why am I eating squirrels? Doesn't matter. Does it matter to you? It doesn't matter to me. So there we go. Again, can't make it full screen. But okay, so you get into, into some interesting stuff there. Could access the code, could have a play. Nice. Soccer. Again. Easy, it's not gonna make any difference. Are oh, you? Oh, what's kick? Because <laughs> it's not that button. No, I don't even have a goalie. I don't know what kick is. That's quite a disadvantage. I'm <laughs> There's no goalie. What, what, what is kick? <laughs> this is, this is not going well if I don't know what kick is. No, why is there no goalie? This, this game was clearly written by an American. Right, we're on to, now we get to see how well the pie holds up because we are on to mashing the keyboard. My man's running around. Right, okay, mash. Oh, did that pass? I don't know. I scored a goal just by running at the goal. Whoever wrote this, the player needs to be able to kick. I'm sure the control's in there somewhere. And can I have a goalie on my team? Because that would be handy. I'm just, just saying. I don't know if you ever actually played soccer <laughs> before writing. Well, clearly you're not a football fan because it's called soccer, um, which is the wrong name. Space is working. But it's almost as if, if you're on the diagonal run, it doesn't like the third keyboard input. That's what I think, it, look, no keyboard input. As soon as I go to, right, so that's it. So look, if I'm on the diagonal run, if I hit space to do a, uh, a diagonal cross, it's not liking having three keyboard inputs at once. That's interesting. Um, whereas if I then just go straight up and hit space, then it's happy. Let's try that again. So look, if I go straight up, I can kick. If I go, if I get the ball, piece of crap. Right, diagonal, can't kick, can't kick. Up, can kick. So you can't, you can't pass on the diagonal, all right. That's what that's about. Okay, is that a problem with the pie or the game? Okay, I'm intrigued now. Shooty, 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 shooty. What if I'm going diagonal? No, it's fine. Hang on, no it isn't. 
diagonal, won't shoot. So that's two games. So, okay, does the Pi have an issue with more than two simultaneous keyboard inputs? If you know, let me know. But look, that's consistent on those games. If I'm going diagonal, oh, now it's working. It's working on the up. Well, that's bizarre. Okay, so if I'm going diagonal left up, sorry, right up, it works. If I'm going diagonal left up, it doesn't. Diagonal right down, it doesn't. Diagonal up right, it, it does. What? <laughs> I don't, so, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. One of the things I got stuck with before, if you remember, was the overscan setting. Okay, and what I'm living with is this black border. And I go to display, and I disable overscan, and I click OK. It's gonna reboot. Okay, so now you'll notice it is going over the screen and I can't get access to my tools. It was the fault of the screen. So if I go to menu on this screen, and I go to picture, and I have to do this for Pimega, and I go into picture, and I change it from 16.9, this is gonna seem weird, um, but on this screen, so these are the settings in my TV, not in the Pi. If I change this to just scan, so if you have this issue, you may have a similar setting on your screen. Um, yep, and come out of the menu. Now, I have no black border, and everything is fine. Annoyingly, on this screen, it doesn't like to default to that. So every time I set it, I have to set it over and over again, but whatever, that's just the idiosyncrasies of this screen. So there you go, the Pi 400, looking at you know how I would have um, used productivity stuff. It's a nice little unit. Um, <laughs> I find it quite amusing to think about, have we had a computer in this form factor in recent years? What about the laptop? Just saying, I'll leave you with that. Next week though, we're gonna um, <laughs> think about it. Um, we're gonna have a play with what's on this micro SD card inside the, inside the adapter here, which is PyMega 1.5. All right, cheers guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I didn't drink any cider during this video, did I? Oh, so humid here today. Disgustingly hot and humid. God, I was sweating earlier. That's why I didn't, and my phone was dead. Oh, actually, the best thing about the Pi 400, for those of you that are still watching this little extra at the end, is the charger. So my phone was flat, and the charger for this has pretty much charged my phone in 30 minutes. Fantastic. That's the best reason to own a Pi 400. No, look, it is a cool little thing. Still watching? I don't know why. Okay, see ya, bye.